Kirsten, why do you walk so fast? Do you see how long my legs are? No! <laughs> you said look at your legs! I said did you see how long my legs are? Well now everybody else saw too. Whoa! here we originally wanted to start this business idea together um, and it was kind of like for the summer so we didn't go through with it but he actually did so we got these inflatable hammocks he's got them coming in uh, they're at the airport today we're gonna go pick them up uh, I'm gonna get a few of them and try and sell them and see if we can start this but I'm excited yo hey. what's going on hey there it's hot up? yeah it's fucking hot Jeans? I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna get like shorts. Alright, let's go get our product. Where are we going, Gamal? We're gonna go pick up our hammocks. <laughs> uh, no, so explain, so how did, we, how did we even get involved in this? We saw it uh, blowing up on social media, right? The inflatable well, hammocks. And in theory, you first had the idea to do this. Oh, and then you yeah. cut me out of it. Okay, I see. <laughs> well, here we are now, right? Yeah. yeah. So, but. and then uh, we wanted to sell shit. Speak make up. Money. Speak up. We wanted to sell shit, make money, and yeah. Dude, don't be shy, man. It's just you <laughs> so and me. I don't know what to say. I don't know why you got into this. I'm, what do we? Um, so, what is the plan? You've got a website now. What's the website called? Cloudhammocks.com. Cloudhammocks.com. Right. So we're gonna be selling these hammocks. Yeah. Plate with just air, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and this is our first business venture. Are we turn right or where are we going? Um, straight. Sure. So this is gonna be our first business venture together. Please. So we're at the airport now. Uh, we're trying to find where the cargo comes uh, to pick up our first shipment. This is really fun because we've never done this before. Yeah. This is coming straight from China, right? China, Shanghai. Uh, Shanghai, China. Yeah. So that's uh, the contact there. <laughs> What did they give us? They gave us some custom sheets, so we had to come to the end of the road here and we're going to the customs office. Hopefully they don't charge us too much. Are you excited? I just hope that everything goes smooth. So we're we gonna get this business number? I think we might as well if we're gonna do this again. Is it gonna save 8% or like 7%? Does the business number last forever? Um, yes, but you have to make sure that you, um, like if you don't import in I think two or three years, it goes um, out. Oh, okay. Right? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, dude, let's do that, for sure. Like, what's the downside? Is there a cost to that, like to make the business number? Really? Oh, shit. Oh, I think online there is a, business, is a cost, maybe. Online there was a cost. See, we learn something every day. If you're importing stuff and you have a business number, you don't pay HST, you just pay GST. So we're going to sign up for a business number. Uh, apparently it's free here, it only takes 15 minutes. Uh, and it lasts years, so I'm getting really excited. Personally, our taxes would be 316 51 well, And if we did it commercially, it would be 205 <laughs> So we got our business number and our business, wait, what was it? Oh, import account number. Uh, it's gonna be good in like 15 minutes, so we just gotta kill some time here. And then hopefully we'll get our stuff. Yeah. I'm so excited we got a business number. I don't even know what that means, but <laughs> it's official now. Things just got serious. Shit. Yeah. You know uh, how to tell which tariff treatment we put? Yeah. Uh, which, where is it coming from? It's from China? China. Shanghai. Yeah, so we, um, so if you don't know, you just press F2, uh, F2 yeah. Oh, this is F2. This is F2 F right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Dealt with. 
Uh, it was pretty intimidating, but they were pretty good to us, right? Yeah. Um, the lady behind the counter, uh, we told her it was our first time, and she walked us through everything. There was like two other businessmen or three other businessmen there yeah. that saw we were struggling at like different oh, steps. Yeah, everybody was super nice. It was a good experience. I mean, the next time it's going to be horrible compared to that. <laughs> I had to do it for the vlog. Sorry. Hi. How is it going? This is so cool. Name of the company? Um. Is it okay to film here or no? to get the inflatable hammocks. This is so exciting. Fucking <laughs> 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 first one. Yeah. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> We got a, we're in a bit of a rush now. Gamal's got to go. Uh, he's got dinner with his boss, uh, CEO of his company. Uh, Where do you put this? Just leave it now. All right, we're gonna figure out a place to throw that and head out. <laughs> this looks like super professional. I got all the hammocks are overflowing in the back. Uh, what, do, what do we have? We've got like 80. 80 fucking okay. hammocks. That's insane, man. I know, right? I'm the worst will. person to be on the vlog with. <laughs> Alright, now you're at least smiling. We're going to wine rack because we only have a half bottle of wine in the house. We don't have a half bottle of wine. Because you drank it all. Yeah, she just like chugs all the... How do you chug wine? That's disgusting. Oh my god. You really got to open up your throat. Say that again? <laughs> is this right. a little chair? No, it's a little thing. She has a habit for picking garbage, as you can see. Kirsten, put that down. <laughs> Yo, we should get Chipotle. You should get a selfie stick. No. I have one. It's great. I'm gonna put a thousand. Thanks, Scotia Bank. On frost? Oh, tell me I got that on camera, please. Oh. <laughs> 